Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Josie's Family Farm. And today I'm going to take you along with me while I prep for my Thanksgiving dinner for Thursday. Yes, I already have my Christmas tree up before Thanksgiving, so please do not judge me. But I'm going to do probably the pecan pie. I'm probably gonna go ahead and cook the pumpkin pie. Um, the pecan pie I'm making homemade, but the pumpkin one I just brought from the store just because I didn't want to have to deal with that and I didn't have any fresh pumpkin around. Um, and then also I'm going to make some deviled eggs and probably prep the green beans just so tomorrow um, I can just um, put it in the oven. I don't have to worry too much about it. And then cranberry sauce. I do not know how to make cranberry sauce and at this moment... I really don't want to have to deal with that either. So this year I will not. Um, got the canned cranberry sauce. Um, my mom likes it as well. My mom's gonna be over for Thanksgiving as well. So we're just gonna do that. And I'm just gonna sauce it up and put it on a dish and put saran wrap on it so that that will be taken care of as well. So hopefully tomorrow I will only have to really cook the turkey and then maybe a few other things like the potatoes. And my mom's going to do the yam casserole or whatever she calls it. Um, so I think that's all we are going to be eating for tomorrow and stuffing. I can do that tomorrow as well. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get to it. So with the deviled eggs, I already have my water and I think I'm going to do eight. I think, I think so. I think that would be enough for us. Um, I know me, my mom, I think Michael, they're okay for Michael, but I think eight will be enough. I don't want, I want leftovers, but I don't want too many because I don't want to have to be eating the same thing for three days. However, with my turkey, I will freeze some of that so I can use it like in other recipes, like chicken Alfredo, but instead of the chicken, I use turkey um, and things like that. So I just put my eggs in here in the water. Um, and then I go ahead and add some salt. Um, and then I'm going to turn it on kind of high. And I'm just going to let it cook. As soon as it starts boiling, then I will set my timer for 10 minutes. And then after the 10 minutes, I will switch it over to the sink. And then I'll add cold water to it. Um, with my boiled eggs, I know that, or I've learned that as soon as they come out and I put them in cold water, I go ahead and start taking the shells off because they come out, come off a lot easier than if you wait and let them cool off and stuff like that. So that's what I like to do with mine. And so they'll be a little bit more presentable, even though any other time the shells all coming off and the white parts coming off and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that's how I do it. So I'm going to let this boil and we'll get on to the next thing. Okay. So now I got my cranberry sauce out here. We like the cranberry sauce, not the jelly. Um, and I'm just going to open these and then I'm going to start cutting them and putting them on my dish and then I'm going to get it in the refrigerator. done with that I'm going to do the green beans um, and this green bean recipe my grandma used to do it I don't know where she found the recipe at but it's really really good we really don't care for the green bean casserole here at my house so we like this one a lot so let me show you that okay so with this green bean recipe depending on how many people you have depends on how many um, cans of green beans you want so I usually start out with two 
and if it doesn't look like enough, I will just add two more. Um, but you really want the green beans that are the French style green beans. However, I already have just a cut green bean, so that's what I'm going to use. But it's really good with the, um, the um, French style green beans. So I'm going to open these jars and I'm going to drain them and then I'm going to put them in my pan. And I think I'm not going to go ahead and um, spray my pan with nonstick spray. So that will be taken care of as well because sometimes in the oven it will get kind of brown at the bottom or something. So you just want to make sure that it does not stick. Um, yeah, let me go drain these really fast. So here's my green beans and I'm going to put them in the pan. Let me move you down. Here's my other one. So I think I'm going to add at least one more pan because that doesn't look enough to me. Okay, so that looks better. Now you need these little packets. This is the Italian dressing um, dry mix package. And I think you're supposed to use one package per two um, green bean cans. But sometimes I do a little bit more than that. It just depends on your taste, like what you want. Um, I like using one whole one. Um, and then I'm going to mix this up with a spoon. And then after you mix it, sometimes if it doesn't look like there's like enough seasoning on it, then you can add a little bit more. But I think this will be good. But you don't want to get too much because then it'll be kind of like spicy. And you don't want that. So I think that looks good. So now I'm going to add butter. You can add however much butter you want. Um, I'm going to put probably, um, let me see, here's two, and I like to spread it out. I'm probably going to put five tablespoons of butter. Um, and then once the butter starts melting, it just goes all the way down and stuff. And I like to halfway through when it's cooking. I like to come and stir it up a little bit. Um, and then I do that. And then so I will cover this with tin foil. And then when it's time tomorrow, I will put it in the oven. And I'll put it in for probably at 350 for about mm, 30 minutes or so. Um, once they start, because they will shrink a little bit. So once you start seeing that, then they're usually probably done. But I usually do it, like I said, for 350 for 30 minutes. Um, and they're really, they're really, really good. Especially with the French style green beans, you need to try it. So as you can see, my eggs are boiling. So now I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes. Okay, so now we are going to be doing the pecan pie. So first I need to make the crust and then I will begin the pecan pie. And so I will link the recipes down below um, just so you can have them if you want them. I like having my recipes printed out like this just so it's easier for me to see and I can look at it and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So with the butter, I mean the flour, we need two and a half cups and you want to do it like this with the knife. That's one. Sugar. Get my sugar. No. It's one, two, and then you want to do one teaspoon of salt. So I'm 
going to mix this together. And then you need six tablespoons of butter. Um, and I need to cube that and it needs to be chilled. And I'm gonna put it right on top of this. So I am gonna use my food processor because I think it'll be a lot easier than having to use forks because I don't have a pastry cutter. So I'm gonna put all this butter, I mean this flour in here, and then I will add the butter to the top. You wanna make sure it's really cold so that it'll make the um, crust extra fluffy and flaky. Okay. I'm gonna put the top on. some cool water on them and then I will start peeling them.
pack them up with saran wrap. You want to put them in the refrigerator so they can chill for a couple of hours. And then whenever they are done, I will show you and I'll roll them out for you and then we will start the pecan pie filling. So now let me wash my hands and then we can come over here and get these eggs all finished up. So now I'm ready to do the deviled eggs. So I need to cut them in half, um, add the Miracle Whip and mustard and fill the egg back up. And I have a little dish that I'm gonna put them in. Hopefully they all fit, but I'm not for sure. And um, I'm gonna do that all at my kitchen table because I need to clean this behind me, but I wanna get this done because then I can eat lunch and rest a little bit before I can start the pecan pie filling. Here is all the stuff I need. I use the um, yellow mustard, the whip, um, Miracle Whip, the eggs, and my dish and, dishes and stuff. And I also use a little bit of sugar, but I will wait till I add all the Miracle Whip and mustard first. And then also, let's look at my new table. It just came in yesterday um, from some people locally that made it. I have a few issues with it, but he's supposed to be coming back after Thanksgiving to fix them. So hopefully he does that. But other than that, I really like the table um, and stuff like that. It took a little bit to get it, but I don't know, but I like it. And I'm glad it's here for Thanksgiving. So we'll be able to eat at it for Thanksgiving. And this is also going to be the first um, holiday in our brand new house. So that is exciting as well. So let's go ahead and start these deviled eggs.
so it's been about a couple hours now and the pie crust should be done cooling or chilling for right now. Uh, um, got all the dishes put away in the dishwasher and my dishwasher, I'm going to start it as soon as I get done with this. But I'm going to pull out the um, pie crust from the fridge and then I'm going to start um, rolling it so that I can put it in my pan and I'm going to let it chill a little bit longer while I get the um, pecan pie filling together and then we will start assembling the pie. So you want to put a little bit of flour down so that um, it won't really stick to the um, surface that you're doing it on. Can do that. And then I also like to add a little bit on my rolling pin as well because I really don't want it to stick on there either. And you need to roll this out into like about a 12 inch circle in diameter. And here it is. And you want to be sure that you do it really gentle and that you're going um, from the middle to the outsides. So I will do this until it is done. over here and I'm going to put it in my um, pan that I have already prepared here Then you can do the edges however you like. Um, so I'm just going to flatten this out here. Okay, and then while I'm flattening, I'm also going to try to bring it up a little bit so that we can have a nice crust on this. Okay, so now I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and wait about 10 minutes and I will start on my filling. So for the pecan pie filling, you need um, unsalted butter, a fourth of a cup of it, but you need to melt it and let it cool slightly. So I'm going to start with this and get everything else prepared. Um, and by the time I come back around, it should be cool.
minutes on 350 and um, cook it for about 50 to 55 minutes. Um, probably about halfway through, I will probably try to tint some foil over the top of it so that um, it won't start burning the top because sometimes the top can get a little burnt and we don't want that. So probably in about 20 minutes, I will do that. And then whenever it gets done, I will show you the end result. And it is now done and I'm just going to cover it with tinfoil and wait for